the motion, is it time to redistribute the wealth? In 2019, there were an estimated 2,825 individual billionaires in the world. Of those, 788 were in the United States. What does the modern global billionaire class mean for the economy and for politics today? Here's more from two of our panelists, Robert Reich and Larry Summers, who both served in the Clinton administration, but who take seriously, starkly different positions on America's economic future. Would Jeff Bezos be as motivated as he was to create Amazon if at the end of the rainbow was $2 billion instead of $200 billion? In other words, do we need the kinds and magnitude of riches that are extraordinary, that are new, that we haven't seen in this country before, in order to actually get Steve Jobs or Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos or anybody else to do what they are doing? Now, when you talk about deserving, when you talk about the word deserving, that assumes that the market itself is neutral. But the market is not neutral. The market has been created by human beings, by legislators and agencies and courts. And the wealthy, because of the influence they have, and I'll include big corporations, have changed the organization of the market over time. Yanni talks about antitrust law. Well, if antitrust law were enforced as it was enforced 40 years ago, the chances are the big high-tech companies would not be nearly as large as they are right now. They would still be doing a lot of maybe good things, maybe not so good things, but antitrust has become a dead letter pretty much, largely because of the lobbying and political power and also the public relations exercises that a lot of the wealthy, including big corporations, have undertaken. We could talk about bankruptcy laws. We could talk about securities laws. Why were the banks bailed out and almost nobody sent to prison? And why is Dodd-Frank, that, that piece of legislation that's supposed to prevent us from going down that rabbit hole of financial calamity, why has that been watered down by the big banks? Because of political power, because they have so much wealth in the system. Larry, you know that. You I mean, and I have been there on the front I mean, lines. Robert, I'm, I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in because I want to move on to something else, but I want to let Larry respond briefly to that point, and then I want to move on. Here's the problem, uh, Bob. Most of, the, most of the reforms, increased antitrust and so forth that you talk about, they are good ideas. They should happen. The problem is that you take somebody who's got $10 billion and you make them have $3 billion, they've got plenty of money to do the kind of lobbying that they do. So there are approaches that would stop us from having those policies, but they're not launching some kind of attack that starts from the objective of redistributing the wealth. So the approach we favor, approach I favor uh, anyway, is an approach that starts from the objective of having a better, fairer society. And that'll lead you to want to have better antitrust law. That'll lead you to want to have stronger uh, financial regulation. But if you start from the idea that you're going to wage some kind of war on the billionaires, even if you win, you're not going to take the money out of the system because it's going to come from uh, corporate, corporate treasuries, which will still exist even when you've taken a lot of money from uh, the billionaires. So the question is, what's your central theme for responding to the problems of society and pointing to billionaires and saying we should take their take their money away is may feel good but it's an ineffective political strategy that doesn't respond to the problem and when they get, when you do take their money away and they dodge it by giving it away to a set of foundations and charities that will lobby for all the causes you loathe you will have the problems you're worried about to a greater extent. So I share your commitment to a fairer society. The question is whether a political strategy like that that Bernie Sanders used uh, this spring of focusing on tearing down the wealth is the right way to get to 
what you and I both want to get to in the United States. All right, Larry, uh, Larry, you are, Larry, 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 you are begging the question. You are begging, you are begging, gonna, you are begging the question. You're Robert, using gonna, metaphors Robert, that gonna, actually Robert, don't have Robert. any bearing upon what is actually being discussed. The real issue here, okay, time and let's out agree again. and let's time stipulate, time, time the goal is a fair society. Time out, time out, because we have to move along.